Good morning, my loves. Today we are doing a full face of first impressions from the stuff from my previous video, the PR unboxing haul. I already chucked everything in a big box here so that we can filter through and try out a bunch of new things. I might try out a couple of new things from like previous unboxings as well. We'll just see how this goes. I have no idea what look we're doing today, but... I want to do something cute. I want to do something with a bit of color, I think. Like, let's just see where it goes. I want to try out this Hydrating Milky Peel. It's a skincare product. So, use daily or as needed. Apply a thin layer onto clean skin, avoiding your eye area. Leave on for two to three minutes and gently massage into skin and rinse off. So, let's give it a go. All I've done is cleanse my skin. I haven't moisturized yet, so it's the perfect time to try it. Gentle Micro Peeling Cream. So, this is supposed to clear away dead skin cells, which I definitely have some right now. Oh shit, okay, it just comes on out. It feels like it's got like little bits in it, kind of like the Huda Beauty one. You know, like the little like, I don't know, the little bits. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe this right now. Why am I slouching so much? I need to sit up straight. So we've got a thin layer on. I'm going to wait until 11.42 because it's 11.40 right now. And then I'm going to massage it and go rinse it off over the sink. And while we wait, I do have these Vanity Australia Afterglow Skin Finishing Glosses. I don't know which one to use. I almost want to like mix them together and see what happens because... I, I want to use this, but I feel like it'll make me a bit too bronzed for the foundation I want to use today. So I might mix them together. Let's see what happens. Empress and the shade Goddess, which is the lighter one. I'm just doing like 50-50. I'm going to use a Kabuki brush. This is by EXO Beauty. Okay, I'm just going to like wipe some on and then buff it out with my Kabuki brush. Oh, that blends out real easy. Oh, that's so pretty. It smells really nice too, and it's really lightweight. Like, if I compare it to the Huda Beauty one, that body nymph stuff, this one blends out so much easier. I don't know if it'll stay put as well though, because that's the good thing about the Huda, like, at least it, like, stays there, because it, like, dries. I'm obsessed with how that made my skin look. Oh my gosh. It doesn't give a lot of color, just a little tiny tint, to be honest, but it just makes you glow, and it smells so good. This would look dope at nighttime too. The little sparkles would kind of reflect. I'm just gonna massage this. It kind of dries, and look, it's, like, flaking off. Very similar to that Huda Beauty one which did kind of irritate my skin, so I'm a little bit nervous. I mean, this one's supposed to be real hydrating, so I'm hoping that it'll be gentle. Oh my god, I just freaking filmed again and didn't press record. I've done this twice in two days. Okay, so I'm back. Basically what I said was, holy shit, my chest and my shoulders look so healthy and glowy, like amazing, and my skin, although it says hydrating, I don't think it feels like hydrating per se, but, like, obviously I've not moisturized yet or anything. This is just rinsed off. My skin looks visibly glowier. It looks cleaner. It looks more fresh. My skin to the touch feels so much smoother. Like, down here I had a lot of dead skin cells. Down here I had a lot of dead skin cells. And it feels, like, physically smoother. I will definitely keep using it. I won't use it daily like it suggests. It says use daily or as needed. I won't use it daily because I do use like chemical exfoliants most days, like salicylic acid and stuff like that, and I don't want to over exfoliate my skin, but when my skin feels like dull like it did this morning and I just feel like I need a perk up, like I feel like this is perfect. So I do definitely like it for, you know, primer. Clearly I've not moisturized yet, but this is kind of like a hybrid. This is by Smashbox. It is their new Photo Finish Vitamin Glow Primer with Vitamin B, C and E. And it's designed to be worn alone or under makeup. And it says it's supposed to give you a hydrated, healthy glow. So let's ooh, give it a go. And this will be good because it'll just give my skin some moisture. Oh, it smells like oranges. Oh, it smells amazing. Like fresh citrus. By the way, the face mask peel stuff did not make my skin feel irritated. I feel like it was a little bit more gentle than the Huda Beauty one. Like my skin doesn't feel stripped or anything like that. Like it feels like it was quite gentle. Okay, that primer feels amazing. It feels so smooth. It feels like a serum. Like it doesn't really feel like primer. It just feels like moisturizer serum kind of hybrid formula. And it smells amazing. And it made my skin look really nice and fresh. It doesn't feel sticky to the touch or anything. So you could easily just wear it alone. Yeah, I like the way it made my skin look. I'll definitely keep using it. I love the scent. It's so good. I don't like love scented products, but that just straight up smells like a vitamin C serum or something, you know, like that real strong like citrus kind of vibe. All right, next up, I'm going to try out the Kylie Skin Mint Lip Balm. It's really easy to push out. It's such a weird thing to say, but I do find like sometimes lip balms in this packaging, you have to like force it out. I feel like the whole seam's just going to split at the end. Oh, it's quite thick. It almost feels like a lip gloss or like looks like a lip gloss but it's a lip balm. I love the scent. It's got that kind of pepperminty, like that sweet peppermint kind of smell. I mean, looks good, feels fine. It's just like really thick and 
like glossy. I wasn't expecting it. Concealer just around my eye and I guess we'll try out this new Dior one, shall we? Should we be bougie? Like maybe. We've got two in and one in. They also sent me some dark shades which I'm gonna donate because they're way too dark for my skin tone. This one is the darker one so I might use this one around my eyes. Two in. Ooh, it feels so smooth. You know sometimes you put on a concealer it just feels like butter when you apply it. Like it's like that. I've got so many baby hairs. You get quite a lot on the applicator so keep that in mind when you go to put it on. The packaging's cute. It's just like a rectangular Dior package. I'm going to use a concealer brush by So Beauty just to smooth this out. Just going around the natural shape of my eyebrows. With a brush it's a little bit streaky when I blend it. The coverage is quite nice. It's more of like a medium coverage. It's not too heavy looking and it's got a really nice finish to it. Like I feel like this would be a really nice one under the eyes if you don't need like a lot of coverage because I feel like it doesn't look heavy but we'll try it soon under the eyes. I think it would be better on a sponge just because like usually this brush doesn't leave any streaks at all but this formula for some reason it is doing a little bit of streaky action. Although on this side that's a little bit more dry because I applied it you know a while ago it's not streaking as much so maybe it's just when it's super wet it can streak a little. Yeah it like almost goes tacky when it starts to dry down and it doesn't look as weird. So maybe even if you apply it and just let it sit there for a few seconds and then start to blend, it almost blends better. Quite random. Usually it's like the other way around. Okay, so yeah, it looks beautiful. Let me actually darken this a bit. It looks really nice and fresh and smooth. Medium kind of coverage, like medium full I would say. It's not as full coverage as like shape tape and stuff like that. But it's still got really good coverage. If you look at my eyelids, you can see it's pretty much covered everything. It's just still a little bit lighter looking. It doesn't look as like, you know, heavy. Now we've got two of the new foundations by Dior. One of them is more hydrating I believe. This one's the lasting hydration whereas this one here is lasting comfort and care. So this one says skincare and comfort at heart, 24 hour non-stop flawless coverage. The skin's texture appears refined and pores tightened with a velvet matte finish without a mask like effect. Whereas the lasting hydration one, it says Dior takes long lasting perfection radiance to the next level with forever 24 hour seduction with sensational skin carrying hydration at heart. I was thinking of doing 50-50 but both sides of my face are a little bit different. One side has like better skin texture and everything so it's hard to compare because of that. I feel like it's better to use it all over and then we can use the other one all over at another date. So let's go with the matte one. Let's mix it up. You guys know I usually go very glowy at all times but I don't know. I just feel like full coverage and stuff. Packaging is beautiful classic Dior. I'm gonna go get my sponge ready. So here's my before and after. I need to give it a proper deep clean but I don't know where the frick I put my freaking brush cleaner. I'm just gonna go straight in on both sides. It looks like it might be a touch too light for me but we'll just bronze and everything. I do have bronzer sticks from Kylie which I want to try next. Mm, it's got that expensive foundation smell you know that like Chanel and Dior kind of like scent. I don't really know if it's like actually a scent like an added scent or if that's just how they smell but it always smells good. It smells expensive. I feel like the concealer is a touch darker than the foundation in the same shade. So I don't know if it dried a little bit dark. I guess we'll soon find out. But yeah, mm, I love the smell. Let me know if you're interested in a really in-depth first impression of the hydrating version. And I can fill you guys in on how this one went as well, like throughout the day. I'm still doing the Bobbi Brown one, by the way. It's sitting on my bench top, like waiting to be done. I keep forgetting. <laughs> it's actually a beautiful coverage just with one layer. Like I don't feel like... I need to really build it up. The coverage is like so nice on my freckles on my nose like it really covered pretty much everything but it doesn't look heavy and although it is that matte kind of finish like the velvety matte it's like the nice kind of matte where it doesn't look dull. Obviously I do have like glowy primer underneath which will help with the overall finish but just even like on the areas that aren't bouncing back with sunlight like on my cheeks down here it doesn't look dry and disgusting like it actually looks really really smooth still so overall like these products together just look great okay i'm just gonna whip on some of the concealer in the shade one in underneath my eyes which is just obviously a little bit lighter um often i actually do just like to wear something that matches but i just want to see how this color goes so i'm just going to use a small amount of it because i feel like it does go quite a long way and then i'm going to use my sponge with the foundation on it to blend it out so i might get a little bit of foundation there it might not be as light as you know it's true color because i'm mixing them together a little bit oh my god that looks so nice under the eyes 
I'm gonna zoom you all the way in in the dark so you can watch me apply it. Like, look how smooth. It just looks great, honestly. It's got this like radiant kind of finish. Good coverage, it covers my waterline. It looks really creepy, I know, I'm sorry. I definitely prefer it with the sponge. It just blends out much more seamlessly. No issues with streaking or anything like that. Like, it just looks good. I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade 2N just over this pimple, which probably won't get covered because I swear it's just one of those ones that won't cover. And I'm also gonna add just a little bit of this where I get some redness. So yeah, this is the 2N shade that matches, supposedly. I feel like it does dry like half a shade darker. Oh my gosh, I really like this foundation. Okay, I see the velvet finish. Like when I tilt my head like this, it's got that like velvety look. It looks so good. Oh my god. Okay, this might be actually a matte foundation I like. But I would still use a similar primer to what I used today. Just to give an extra hint of a glow. Because otherwise I just feel like not myself. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Are you seeing this? It's like angels blue on my skin. I do feel like it shows up because of like the velvety finish. It shows up bumps of congestion under my skin. <sighs> but other than that, it looks magic. Oh, is that cre No, that's not creasing. That's just a hair. Huge fan. Under my eyes, it's creasing a tiny bit into fine lines. So we will set that. Okay, if you want to be bougie and you want to go for something super luxurious and high end, it just looks so beautiful. Let's go on to cream bronzer before we set anything. Although actually maybe I'll just set under my eyes real quick. I don't have a new like under eye setting powder I don't think. i use this. I could probably use this colour here. I've just swatched it. It looks right. So this is the Weekend Vibes Belgian Waffle Palette by BH Cosmetics. I love BH Cosmetics palettes, face palettes, like everything. And this kind of looks like a yellowish powder that should be okay under my eyes. We'll see what the texture looks like. Fingers crossed it's good. I'm just going to use it on a small face brush, which is the perfect size for under the eye. And I'm just going to tap that on. It's got like a satin kind of finish, similar to the MAC one. I feel like it's a little bit too dark. Do you see what I mean? Like it kind of darkened my under eye area instead of brightening it. But that means it's probably better for someone with slightly darker skin than me under the eyes anyway. Probably almost use this all over my face as like a setting powder. We'll use this a little bit more soon. Okay, so I've got bronze light and bronze medium. So bronze medium is obviously a little bit darker. I don't really know what kind of color I want to go. Maybe the light one and then I do have the Kindle. Oof, I've already like had a look at these when I chose my colors because they sent me like all of them. So I've donated the ones that are not a match for me. This is called Act Natural and I feel like it's better for like contouring so... I'm going to use that there and maybe a little bit just here. And then I'm going to take bronze light, I think, which looks like this. It's still, like, dark enough. And I'm just going to run that where I want to, like, bronze. So my nose, maybe a little bit just above, like that. I might just, like, use this to contour my jaw. Get a little bit under the lip, maybe. And then to blend this out, I'm going to take a domed contour brush by So Beauty. And I'm just going to blend. Oh yeah, that's such a nice color to contour. It's quite dark, like darker than what I'd normally go for. But considering we've got to put powder on top, like I think it's good. This blends out relatively easy. I feel like the light bronzer color might even be a little bit too light for me because I feel like it's literally just blended into like nothingness. So maybe I do need the medium one. They blend out a lot, like the color tone. So go a little bit darker than you think you need. I'm gonna go back in with the medium bronze. I feel like this will be a better color. Oh, my stupid freaking hairs. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Yeah, that color definitely suits my skin tone a little bit more, so keep that in mind. Perhaps if you're like super fair, you'll go with the light bronze. I do like how it looks when it's like blended out as well. Can't really fault it. I love how my skin looks today. Honestly, I really, I like this so much more than I thought I would. Um, I was kind of scared of it, but that's such a good contour. I do have this really cheap setting powder, which I'm kind of nervous to like put on now, but I shouldn't be nervous because heaps of cheap stuff's amazing. Oh, I'm just so scared something's gonna ruin like everything that's happening right, oh, everything that's happening right now because it just looks so good. Just before we see, actually, I've got cream blush and highlighter. So this is Complete Harmony Lip and Cheek Stick in Kitten. I'm just going to apply some of this on my cheekbones. I'm just going to tap the brush over it to smooth it out. I feel like if you try to wipe this product, it separates your foundation underneath. So I think the best way to apply it would probably be with your finger or like rub your brush directly into it because 
yeah, it just disrupts a little bit because it's quite stiff on the actual stick. It looks beautiful though. It doesn't really give a lot of colour. It's just like a really nice healthy glow. Like, look how beautiful that looks. Is it super unique? I guess not. Like, but it's kind of similar to like the Charlotte Tilbury one, which I love the finish of that one. It's so expensive. This is still expensive, but you know, another alternative. This is the Essence My Skin Perfector Loose Fixing Powder. Instant blur effect natural matte finish in 20 nude white blush. Oh my god I keep forgetting. This is the dewy blush by Ciate. Let's give it a try So I like to put my blush like more on the back of my cheek I don't know if this is going way too much. So let's just start with this. I'm gonna use the clean side of my sponge You can also use just like fingers and stuff for these products, but I, don't know, I just feel like it's so much quicker to use a sponge or a brush definitely blends out into almost nothing So, you know, use a friendly let's try it with a freaking finger just because I feel like I should. It's definitely buildable. It's quite sticky. I feel like I do prefer the um, Iconic London ones and the Revlon one. Like this one, it almost like blends into, okay yeah, it's blending into nothing again. It's like too sticky. I feel like it would work better on just like bare skin if anything. Yeah, it's not terrible. It's just like meh, meh. Pretty color, but I don't really know if it's worth all the fuss. Maybe a different color. I don't know, by the way, the colour is coconut. I mean, I'm definitely going to have to add more blush, like, literally, look. It's, like, gone. I feel like it kind of disrupted my foundation a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to, like, tap over with, like, the foundation that's left on my sponge. Yeah, not my favourite. I'm just going to go with the tiniest amount of the powder. This is in Nude. I think I already said that, like, eight times. I'm glad it's using its manners. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's, like, attacking me as I pull off the sticker. The colour looks really nice, so I'm just going to... Tap. Oh, it's a little bit too dark. I'm just tapping it everywhere to set. Okay, it's definitely quite heavy, like too matte for what I prefer. Like my skin instantly just went like really cakey looking and really dry looking to be honest. Hopefully we can like fix it up with some setting spray or something because Mm, yeah, that just made everything look heavy. Also, under the eyes, the BH Cosmetics powder is no good. It's just too heavy as well. I need something finer. Um, like, my MAC one doesn't do that. Well, I mean, the skin was nice while it lasted. Let's try to fix it with some setting spray. I think if you love, like, a heavier coverage and, like, really want something that mattifies hardcore and everything, if that's your preference, that would be fine. It's just not my preference. I prefer something that still leaves my skin looking a little bit glowy and... I just like a light feeling. Even if I'm doing full coverage, like I don't like feeling like I've got a lot of powder and stuff on my face. That's why I love the MAC Studio Fix, because even though it's like really good coverage and really heavy, it doesn't feel it, you know, like as long as you don't apply too much. I've got this Radiant Setting Spray, which I'm also very nervous about because I tried one from Ofra, similar to this, and it was not my favorite. But it's by that same Vanity Australia brand. It's like not mixing properly at the bottom. I'm gonna give it some warm up pumps. Okay. What does that smell like? It smells like something I know, but I don't know what. Like sherbet or something. Like, I don't know. It smells very different. Okay. I got a couple of globs of pigment, but other than that, like, it wasn't too bad. So I'm just going to wait for that to settle. And then what I'll do is I'll blend it out. Because if I go in right now, like, my face will be a bit wet. But that definitely made me glow. That actually made the powder sink in so much better, which is good. So just follow up that powder with a setting spray and it'll help a lot. It smells quite good. What is that scent? Oh, it's got lemon myrtle oil. I think that might be what it is. It smells quite like lemony, like lemon sherbet or something. I don't hate it. I don't know if I love it, but it did a pretty good job. I'm just gonna now pat in those little bits that kind of, you know, weren't so fine. Yeah, it's not a major. It's not ideal, but it's not a major. Okay, my skin looks good again. <laughs> so I think from that same brand, there was like an eyebrow product. And then we also have the Eyebrows Big Boost by MAC to try out. So this literally looks the exact same as the Iconic Lens one I used to rave about. And then I ran out and then it was out of stock forever. And I just never ended up repurchasing it because I just gave up looking. But it looks the exact same. So looks like this. I'm just going to apply some of this into my eyebrows with a little angled brush. We have an eyebrow groomer brush. First, I will just brush up my hairs. Get them all nice and tidy. And actually, I'm going to use a little bit of hairspray in my spoolie because I did this in a video. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet, um, but it was a following Huda Beauty um, makeup tutorial. If it's up already, I'll link it, otherwise it's coming soon. But it just made my eyebrows look so freaking good. So, just doing that first. I'm only going to use a small amount of product. What I love about these is it gives you the sharpest line. So if you love a sharp brow, if you love like a clean 
precise brow, brow strokes, like whatever you want to do, like these are really good. So I'm just dipping into both colors to be honest. And I'm just going to define the tail. And now I'm just going to dip into the lighter color and just add a few strokes near the front. A little bit of product does go the longest way. Please keep that in mind. I'm literally barely even dipping in and it's just like going 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 so we're gonna do a bushy brow today i messed up just underneath here but i'll clean that up with eye primer soon i don't know what color to use so one of them is more cool tone which is fling and then one's a little bit warmer which is called lingering i feel like maybe the warmer one because my brows look very cool tone right now so just to balance them out like it's gonna go oh the brush is like reasonably small which i like i appreciate actually it's like the perfect size usually i love small small but that still works it's not too big yeah but it gives you a whole lot of thickness if you love a thick brow boom there it is that gives you volume that thickens eyes are primed with my pillowies base and for my eyeshadow today i think i'm going to use a couple of new products i might use the Latte 2 by Dominique Cosmetics, which I haven't tried, and then I might use some of those new Natasha Denona eyeshadows as well, so let's begin. I'm going to start with Cafe Con Leche, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm going to put that just like in kind of where the creases, just tapping that in, it basically just matches my skin tone, so just going to help all the other colours blend together. Alright, now I'm going to mix together coffee beans and the colour I just used to try and get like a lightish brown. And I'm going to begin on the outer corner and kind of bring that in to the crease once I feel confident it's not going to be too scary. These eyeshadows blend like a dream. They're so lovely to work with. I really like this brand. Okay, this lighting is just not a vibe, so let me shut my curtains. Hello, you can see me now. Just gradually darkening the outer corner. It's a really pretty color. Now I'm gonna go back in with that brush I used just before and I'm gonna take a bronzer from the BH palette and kind of just warm up the area. And we'll be using this as well later so all the colors will kind of go nicely together on our faces. Now I'm gonna take some of the shade Strawberry Milk and I'm going to put that next to that other color, kind of on the ball of my eyelid. And then just blending that in. This color looks amazing. But I really want to try out the um, other Natasha Denona. I'm just going to swatch it. It's called Frappe. It's like a beautiful shimmery top coat. We might have a space for it somewhere. Let's just see how this goes. I don't even know what I'm doing. I might use Dragonfly. So these are the Chromium liquid eyeshadows. They do dry completely like set. So you don't have to set them with anything. I had them on my hand when I swatched them at my PR hole. And they just stay put. I just scrub them off in the shower that night. I'm going to like kind of cut my crease with this. I feel like it applied better on my hand, but we'll just keep working with it and see how it goes. Maybe it's just because I didn't shake it up or something. This side looks better. I think you need to be quite generous with the application. I'm just going to use a eyeshadow brush to make sure that there's no like excess product. And just tap it out. I just said that you don't need to set them, but I might even layer some eyeshadow on top of it and use this like a base almost. So I'm going to go in with Frappe, the color we did use just before, or like swatch before. And just see how this looks when we layer them. It's actually quite pretty because you get that peak, uh, get that peak of like a pinky kind of tone. It's all just very sparkly. Underneath the eye, I'm going to take a little bit more coffee break, just on the very outer kind of bit of my eye. I want to use some of this bubblegum color from Huda Beauty, which I don't know if I've used this before or not, but I just wanted to use some like right underneath the eye right here. It's like a pink kind of tone, kind of goes with everything else we're doing. Honestly, I'm feeling like this kind of color. Let's just try it. This is the Glow It Girl Acid Rain Mitchell little color. I haven't used this particular one, but I have used these before. I love them. The discount code is down below. Winged liner brush. I'm gonna do a nice sharp wing. How stunning is that color? I love days like today. We just kind of like play with colors and like play around with different like techniques and formulas, creams and things. I'm just gonna bring it to like there. Okay, one side is way more winged up, but oh well. I swear that it's just me in every single video where I do eyeliner. Oh well. <laughs> Mascara, unleash your freak by Urban Decay. I love the packaging, it's so cool. So this is Freaky Volume Mascara. It's supposed to give you 23.6 times more volume. I don't know how they came up with that exact number, 23.6, but you do. The one's cool, it's kind of like scooped and you can use that top part, which is like a little comb. And then on the other side, it's got this like little mini area where you could like do your bottom lashes or something, I guess. So let's give it a shot, shall we? I love like, oh my God. Yeah, okay, that's a lot of volume. Um, I love little combs like this because you can really get 
a lot of product applied. This is gonna be too much. It's applying a whole lot. It's quite wet, which makes me a little bit nervous. Like it could get messy, but it's definitely a lot of volume. Edge to do my bottom lashes. Oh, it's taking too long. I'm just gonna use the other side. I feel like that's easier. Huge bottom lashes, wow. Massive, okay. It's nice, it's just very wet. I don't know how I feel about how wet it is. But let me do the other eye, I'll be right back. All right, that's them. Okay, lashes. New XO Beauty lashes coming soon. These ones are called, <laughs> these ones are called Goddess. They are balls. This is how they look. They're really long, but they're not as like full on thick as some of our other styles we have. So even though they're really long, like they just look lighter on the eyes. They feel a little bit lighter and <sighs> just you wait. So here's the before. Their glue is still drying, but oh, so fluttery and beautiful. Just like so sweet and like, I don't know, just sexy. So yeah, those are goddess. I'm gonna contour a little more using this palette. So I'm gonna use Better, the middle shade. And I'm just gonna intensify where we contoured earlier. It's actually like too warm. So I'm just starting to apply it a little bit higher than where we contoured earlier. And then taking just a mixture of cinnamon and batter, I'm just going to bronze the whole like cheek temple kind of area and down my nose. Okay, some blush. Do I have a new blush? I don't even know. I'm gonna use my Born to Shine blush palette because I love it. And I'm just going to take a medium face brush with maybe a little bit of light just on the back of my cheek. And then back into the BH Cosmetics palette to highlight. This isn't my favorite palette by them, just cause these colors I can't really contour with. They're more bronzer kind of shades cause they're too warm. But then I've got better bronzers. This color was too heavy under my eyes, but who knows, the highlighters could save the day, but they've got dedicated highlighter palettes, which I like. So it might be a waste of time for me to own like an entire palette like this. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna take syrup and apply that to my high points on my cheekbones and a little on the tip of my nose and chin just to glow. I'm also gonna take a little bit of that same color just right underneath the arch of my eyebrow. The highlighter is stunning, like can't be faulted. It's so pretty. I'm gonna tap a little bit kind of right on the inner corner as well. On my lips, I'm gonna try out this Kylie Lip Kit. Lip blush and lip liner in Heaven Scent. And then we've got a gloss too. The new Dior gloss, because we're fancy. So yeah, this is Heaven Scent. It's like not going on top of the lip balm that I put on earlier, so. I have to wipe it off on my hand. I really like Kylie lip liners. This one seems sheerer than other ones I've used. Is it a different formula? I don't think so. Like once it's on, it's really pretty though. Reminds me of something in like a Victoria's Secret show. Okay, and then Heaven Scent Lip Blush. I haven't tried this, I don't think. Is it just like a soft matte kind of? Yeah. It's like a cushiony, soft feeling. Not too heavy, not drying. That feels really good. And that color is so pretty. Oh my God, I kind of messed up my eyelash application. Please forgive me. And to finish off, we have this Dior Edit Stella Gloss in Mirrored. And it's a beautiful, like, shiny bronze kind of color. So let's see what it looks like on top. Ooh. Okay, it smells incredible. It feels comfortable. It's not sticky. Oh, yeah, that's so pretty. Mmm, I like that. Just, like, really finishes off the look. What do you guys think? Do you like this? So that is today's full face of first impression. I feel like the worst product was probably the Ciate. Um, cream at blush just because it didn't really like do anything like I started building it up and I thought it was good But then it just kind of like didn't really do anything. I don't know. It was weird, but we came through I'm pleasantly surprised with the Kylie bronzer sticks I didn't have high expectations and I don't know why because I do often like a lot of her stuff some stuff I don't some stuff I do but I don't know I was just like because eh, a lot of the time bronzer sticks are just eh, but I really liked it Especially the Kendall one and the base looks so bomb. I think the powder may have been a bit of a fail though also just because it made my skin look a lot cakier so i'll be definitely using that foundation again with a different powder thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it this video please thumbs up and i will talk to you guys again in my next video bye